All right, Aaron, just close this all out here. Aaron, why should more women consider the insurance industry? Because I feel like our industry has been very pale, male, and stale. There's a void in our space. Not only implore you to think about the insurance industry and the insurance space, but think about changing your industry and your space. You know what, Ryan Hanley, ABC Nation, bro, 650 people here at Elevate 2018. Why do you put this stuff together, man? Because I love these people. They're just, it's that simple. This, they're doing important work, and for too long, insurance wasn't cool. This is the best industry in the world. More people need to know about it, and I want the people that were here to know the work they're doing is important and encourage them to do more of it, so. watching this episode on YouTube, make sure you click subscribe and click the notification button to be alerted when we upload our next episode. If you happen to be watching this also on Facebook, please hit that like button and follow our business page, Money Smart Guy. Last week, you guys tweeted me the answer to one of my questions from last week's episode. So shout out to Bonnie Rios who tweeted me the correct answer to her sending you a book, Lincoln on Leadership. And guess what? We're gonna do the same thing this week too as well. So stand by for the question I will ask you towards the end of this vlog. All right, welcome to Living Money Smart. This is your Money Smart guy, Matt Zappala. And this is a very special vlog to me simply because it's reaching out to those who have always felt or has any point in their time felt overworked, underpaid, undervalued, and generally not financially happy. This vlog is for you. So a few weeks ago, we posted a video, the difference between capitalism and socialism. This has been one of the most watched videos I've ever had since I've been posting videos. I had two different types of people dropping comments. I had people saying, Matt, right on, absolutely, I'm with you 100%. Then they had the opposite side of people saying, Matt, you have no clue what you're talking about. So I had two different polarizing comments on one issue of one way I see the world, which is through the lens as an entrepreneur, through the lens of capitalism. And also two weeks ago, I recently spoke at the Elevate 2018 conference hosted by Agency Nation, led by Ryan Hanley, about how undermanned the insurance industry is and a huge gap of agents we find right now today currently inside the insurance industry. So let me give you a definition of capitalism. I'll we'll put it right up here. Capitalism is an economic and political system in which a country's trade and industry are controlled by private owners for profit rather than by the state. So simply put, regardless of the background, the color of your skin, neighborhood you grew up in, you can be somebody. So here's some current issues and realities and facts today that people are living in. Number one, minorities are behind on their road to wealth. Here's a report that we actually did a Facebook live stream on a couple months ago on the road to zero wealth, a report by Prosperity Now. Even the Chicago Tribune reports that people living here in Chicago, close to half of them can't even afford to live here. And today, I hear a lot of people talking about the problem, 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 problem. But you know what I don't hear a lot about? I don't hear a lot about solutions. So let's talk about the five ways that capitalism has absolutely changed my life at the same time many others too as well. So number one, I can make money now. In other words, as a single father, I left the Marine Corps, like I was freaking out, how do I pay my living expenses that Uncle Sam was covering for eight years? But somebody approached me about this industry, and says, hey, you can get involved and make money today. And years later, by building a business, in the last 30 days, this is what we brought in in terms of income, direct deposits to our checking account. And here's the crazy part, my wife has a college degree, I don't. Number two, what I do counts. I do the work so I get credit. I do the work so I get promoted. I do the work so I get paid. Not somebody else in some corporate loop. In free enterprise, in capitalism, if I do the work, then I get rewarded. The White House has invited me to speak at the White House not one year in a row, two years in a row, to talk about personal finance and entrepreneurship and how we're making an impact in our community. And next week, you guys are gonna see it on Instagram, that I got invited to speak at Marine Barracks, 8th and I, about my career inside the insurance industry. 
and how they too can make an impact in their community for life after the Marine Corps. Number three, control my income. I dictate my pay raise, not a corporate manager. I don't have to wait for a performance review for somebody else's opinion to tell me about how they feel I should get a pay raise. I put together facts, I put together results, I control my income, bottom line. Number four, personal and professional growth. For me, business serves as a great mirror for what's going on in my personal life, what's going on in my professional life, because business is simply an extension of what's actually going on inside. It allows me to lay a lot of pride and ego to the side and serve a greater purpose, which is larger than ourselves. Number five, impact on others. The impact I'm talking about is the impact on your family, the impact on the people you love and care about, the impact in your neighborhood. You become a blessing, a major blessing to others by creating jobs or affecting change in your backyard. Here's what Elon Musk said about what his role is in terms of impacting the community. He said, I've created jobs for 50,000 people directly and through parts suppliers and supporting professions, 250,000 people indirectly, thus supporting half a million families. What have you done? Many of you saw the last couple of weeks what my father and my tense relationship with him growing up, and guess what he started doing for us? He started making phone calls to confirm the people that have registered for our convention. Check this out. Hey, Rosie. Uh-huh. How are you doing? This is Del Sapaula calling from the PHP agency in Oak Brook. Hi, Mr. Sapaula. <laughs> I see that you've registered to attend the convention in Vegas. I sure did, Mr. Sapaula. Have you booked your hotel room yet? I Thank you so much for following me. All right, thank you. All right, take care. Bye-bye. And by the way, just don't take my word for it. Here's some people that we've had an opportunity to be in business with. Here's what they had to say. Capitalism is something that is really all around us, and we don't think about it. Me thinking about my life in particular, and looking at the number of African-American businesses that are around, I ended up understanding how important it is for my husband and I to be business owners. Well, I, I believe that it has given us a, a sense of purpose. It's given us the opportunity to be able to leave a legacy, uh, something that we long so much to be able to provide, but didn't know how. And I believe that that's really the, the, the thing that's so enticing about entrepreneurship. It means everything, man. It means me, our ability to, you know, take ownership in my own hands to actually help my community you know open their minds more to capitalism that are what we're conformed to and grow up always knowing which is like socialism so uh, I'm very intrigued to take this you know the bull by the horn and really enforce capitalism and not only for myself and my family and my kids but into the future of our up-and-coming leaders you see the most interesting part of about what they had to say they weren't waiting on government they weren't waiting on anybody else see they took control of life and see how much further now they are ahead? You see how much now their life has changed? If it can happen to them, it can happen to us, it can happen to you. And here's my final thoughts, guys, about capitalism. Living your best life possible and experiencing financial freedom, well, it's gonna demand the best of you. It will challenge you to grow in how you take care of your health. It will challenge you in how you take care of your relationships and how that affects how you operate as a human being all the while affecting you financially. But for the people that say, you know what, I just wanna sit back, relax, not grow, silently I'm lazy, because you can't bitch and complain about people that wanna do something about it and you don't. We have a saying in the Marine Corps, you lead, you follow, or you get the hell out of the way. The worst feeling in life to have is a feeling of regret, okay? Well, I promise you, I'm gonna pick a random winner to get this book. Lincoln on leadership for this month's Entrepreneur Book Club. So my question for you is this. Tweet me at Matt Zappala using the hashtag living money smart. And here's a question. How has capitalism changed your life? I want to know. That being said, guys, if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you click the notification button to be alerted the next time we upload our next episode. If you're watching this on Facebook, make sure you click like and join our movement to transform the way people think, feel, manage, and reach towards financial independence. I love capitalism, and I hope you do too. That being said, thanks for tuning in and thanks for watching. And until we meet again, continue to live smart, continue to love smart, and be mighty smart today.